Good day everyone. I'm Gladys Damalan, Contact Center Representative from Operation Tabang Travelers under Emergency Operation Center of the Local Government Unit of Cagayan de Oro. So I will be your speaker for today's Capacity Development Orientation. So our topic for this orientation is about the online pre-arrival coordination system. So here are our agendas in this orientation. First is to know the system. Second, why it is created. And last is to learn how to navigate the online pre-arrival coordination system or course. Okay, to start, we should get to know first what is online pre-arrival coordination system. Online Pre-Arrival Coordination System, or of course, as its acronym was released last March 14, 2021. It was developed for the expected volume of travelers when the travel guidelines from the National IATF released its easing the travel to protocols for its travelers. This system was able to cater 14,000 travelers in just a week period of time since launch and it made more travel coordination more accessible and in real time. As time goes, the system has evolved to its current interface system to be able to help the needs of the travel coordination between the traveler to the local government of Cagayan de Oro City. By this format, the travelers will be able to process the coordination document by registering filling the travel details needed and get coordinated by calling the respective barangay of its destination to be validated as their proof of coordination for its travel. This was been also a tool for the mandate by the law under Public Act number 11332 or known as mandatory reporting of notifiable diseases and health events of Public Health Concern Act, as the Philippine is still under the state of health emergency. By this law, under Section 6, Paragraph BE, Line 1 and 2, under Paragraph E, you may read it further reference. To make it short, this system applies the said law to have a systematic surveillance and order for its travelers to comply. Now, let us forward. Okay, now here are the steps on how to navigate the of course. Step one. First, you need to go to the site by typing it in a browser using this link, services.cagayandioro.gov.ph slash cdo tabang travelers slash admin that aspx now let's go to the system okay after log after okay then first step you need to log in a user ID and password provided to you by your task force coordinator. Then click login. Okay, then step two. Oh, sorry. Ah, okay. Tops lang. Okay. Then, we need to click the login button. Next, step 2. After logging in, you will see the system homepage. Then, you need to click the pre-arrival button. You need to click the pre-arrival button at the upper left part of the page and select between the two selections which are the manage entries and the update entries. 
then you only need to click manage entries for your access. Then step 3, 3, you will be redirected to the body page of the online pre-arrival coordination system or course. Then as you can see, there are informations of the travelers who pre-registered in the system. From their reference number, their status, their destination, registration date, and arrival dates. Then next, you can see you can see the functions inside the body page of the course, which are the search bar, the traveler, uh, the status bar, traveler type, travel, travel classification, registration date, arrival date, barangay bar, and the filter bar button. I mean, okay. So in the search bar. This is where you will be placing the reference code or the last name of the traveler. In the status bar, you will be selecting the type of the status of the travelers you wanted to filter. In the traveler and travel classification, you can just disregard this button or or leave it as it is because we will only be catering inbound travelers in the system. And then next is the registration date bar. The registration date bar. You may select in this bar the period of the traveler's registration while the arrival date bar you may select the period of the traveler's arrivals. In the barangay bar, you may select the prospective barangay you wanted to filter. And lastly, the filter bar, this will be the button you, to filter your given selection and this interface. Okay, the next. There are nine traveler status that are currently used in the system. First is the all status, registration, processing, follow up, verify, verified, unreachable, invalid entry, and today's arrival. So in the all status, this indicates all the other eight traveler status. And when you click the all status, in the selection, you will see the you will see all the I mean you will see all the entries in the table with their um, random statuses. Next is the registration. Registration is not yet finished and needed to be updated as follow up. In the processing status, the traveler is almost done and needed to be updated as verified. Next is the follow-up from the word itself, the one who are being updated from the registration. Next is verify the ones who are being updated from the processing and must be verified by the barangay through the system. Next, verified. In this status, the traveler is already validated by the barangay and they can already generate the approved confirmation letter in the system. Next, the unreachable. The one who haven't able to coordinate to the barangay during the follow-up and verify status given to them by the system. Next, the invalid. Where the ones who haven't able to coordinate on time of the process are identified as not Kavian de Oro as its final point of destination. And last, the today's arrival status was the ones who has been verified by the barangay and will be notified for the protocols of upon its arrival in CDO. And next, let us now learn how to, up, how to update a traveler status. 
Okay, first, we need to click the search bar and enter the reference code or last name of the traveler. Then, we need to click the status bar and select the type of traveler status you needed to search. Then, click the filter bar to filter the detail you entered. The search detail will be showed its result to update the specific entry you need to click. You need to click the check symbol in the left side of the reference code with the click to view or edit record button. Example. Example. Uh, um, example. We will be. Um, we will put a reference number. Four to C. Okay. Then we will just put all status to search for this reference number. Then we have to um, click the filter button. Okay. Then you will see here the entry of. Gibbon, Dulce Cecilia. Okay, so you you have already searched this um, reference number. Okay, then again to search the details, you have to click the. Click to view or edit the record button. Okay. Then you will be directed to its details as this interface shows the details that the traveler have been entered. For updating its status, you need to select the update status bar beside the registration de detail on the left side of the interface. Okay, again, I mean, okay, this one. Then, uh, okay, this one. This part of the page shows you what are the recent updates or history of its updates. You can also see the person who updated the entry and its corresponding date and time it was updated. After selecting the type of traveler status will be given to the entry as provided by the coordination procedures. You need to click the update status button to proceed with the selected status on the middle left part of the interface page. Then a prompt will appear for you to answer the said update. By clicking the yes button, the entry will be updated according to your status selected for this entry. Then you will be redirected to the entry page of the system. So this ends my topic. We will give you the techniques in how to process and everything on the field familiarization.